Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate the She Modern products that I got in my first haul. For the first nail I'm going to use the Medium Tech Glue. I'm starting with a tip that has two layers of black gel polish on it. Each layer has been cured fully. And then using the brush that came with the products I'm applying a nice even layer of this glue. This is an air dry glue, so as you can see, um, when you apply it, it's white. And when it goes completely clear or transparent, that's when you know that it has dried fully. So I'm going to use this stencil, which was number nine, to create a pattern on the nail. These stencils are re reusable and they're made of this um, very soft, pliable material. So be very careful when you're uh, taking them off the cover plastic then uh, put it on the nail where you want it and I'm pressing it down into the dried glue because I don't want any of the glitter that I'm going to apply to get under the like the pieces of the stencil that are on the nail because I want the pattern to be really nice and sharp and I don't want to mess up the glue with my fingers, so I'm pressing in the stencil with a silicone tool. So the glitter I'm going to use is the Gold Bright, uh, like the sparkly glitter. It doesn't have any hollow. So I've poured some of the glitter onto the palette that also came with my products. And using a applicator brush, I'm just picking up the glitter and dabbing it into the dried glue in the sections of the nail that are um, open. So the glues are water-based, so you can just clean them off with water as well when you get them on your fingers or anywhere else. Also, uh, She Modern recommends to use the medium tech glue, which is the one I'm using here, to apply their glitters and the light tech glue to apply the pigments, which I will do later in the video. By the way, you guys, I have a video that I uploaded um, actually coincidentally two months ago today where I unbox my first She Modern haul and I uh, show the products in a little bit more detail. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave the link to that video in my description box. When I am happy with my glitter application, I'm dusting off the excess and then I'm going to carefully remove the stencil from the nail. So to clean off the stencil, I'm first brushing off as much of the glitter as I can and then I'm just putting the stencil on my palette and with a uh, wet nail wipe, I just wet this with water, I'm going over the stencil on both sides to clean it off. Super easy. And when it's clean I'm just putting it back on the plastic cover and putting the paper back behind it and put it back in the bag. So for the nail, I'm going to cover the entire nail with a layer of um, No Wipe Shiny Top Coat and giving this a full cure in my lamp. And then I want to make the black stripes matte, so I'm using this No Wipe Satin Matte Top Coat and with a detailing brush I'm going over uh, all of the black stripes. I'm doing a couple of stripes and then flash curing in my lamp because I don't want the top coat to run onto the glittery parts. So this is what it looks like finished. Then for the second nail I'm going to use the light tack glue and I have a tip that I've covered with two layers of white gel polish, again curing each layer, and I'm covering the entire nail with the glue. Again, this glue is white when you put it on and it's supposed to go clear when it's um, dry, which was kind of hard to see with this white background, so I just made sure I left it out to dry long enough. I'm going in with stencil, I, I just missed it, but I think this was number one. So I'm using this stencil on this nail and I'm putting it where I want it. Again, um, making sure it's nicely pressed into the glue. This one was a little easier because it didn't have all those cutout uh, sections. 
I'm going to use the pink neon sheer pigment and using the uh, applicator brush I'm dabbing the pigment into the section of the nail that's visible so the white section I switched to my finger instead of the brush because I feel like I had more control with my finger and it made it easier that way So when I was happy with the application of my pigment, I removed the stencil. I cleaned the stencil again but off camera because you guys saw me do that already. And then I'm going to um, take the medium tack glue again and I'm going to apply this on the half or the part of the nail that is still white because I want to apply glitter onto this section. So. Um, again using the brush from she modern applying a nice even layer um, again I'm also uh, waiting long enough for it to be dry because I won't really be able to tell when it goes transparent and then I'm going to use the silver hollow glitter for this section so I'm putting some of the glitter on my palette and I'll start with a brush again but I'll switch to my finger uh, very quickly. These glitters you guys are gorgeous and they are so fine so you could do sugaring with these glitters too. Uh, the only thing I want you to know is when you do sugar don't use these glues because as I said they're water based so if you sugar with this glue and it's not covered with a top coat um, you will wash off the glitter when you wash your hands. When I am happy with my glitter application, I'm covering the entire nail with a no wipe shiny top coat. Cure this in my lamp and then I'm going to cover the pink section with my no wipe satin matte top coat. So if you do want to sugar with these fine glitters, sprinkle them into a wet no wipe top coat and then cure them in place. For the next two nails, I'm going to demonstrate the um, Red Galaxy Twinkle powder or pigment. So I have, um, again, a black nail. I have the Light Tech glue that I applied on top and I let this dry. I did the same thing for this coral colored nail. And then I applied the pigment into the uh, dried glue with my fingers again and then I'm giving them a layer of top coat. I love this pigment. And then I'm going to do two nails where I use the um, sheer sparkle pigments. I needed to think about that. So for the first nail I'm going to use the yellow and the teal. I'm covering the top third of the nail with the yellow and I'll use the teal on the bottom third of the nail. By the way, I'm doing this into um, the light tech glue again. And then I'm going to mix some of both colors to create a beautiful green shade and I'm applying this green into the middle section of the nail. And I wanted these colors to be super vibrant, so I decided to go in with a second coat. So I'm showing you here that I'm just going on top with the glue again. And then I'll wait for it to dry before going in with my second layer of the pigments. So obviously because they are sheer pigments, they won't be super bright unless you go in with a second layer. But um, she Modern also has opaque pigments, so if you want really bright vibrance, you would go for the opaque pigments. So I'm going in with a second layer of all three of the colors. So um, I guess you guys noticed, but I was trying to do an ombre. By the way, this was my first time um, playing with all of these products, and of course I needed to get the hang of the products. Um, but I really loved how all these nails turned out and I had so much fun 
playing with these products. I had so much, so many ideas for uh, designs. So for the second nail, I'm using the sparkle pink and the sparkle blue neon colors. I'm putting the pink on the bottom third and I'm putting the blue on the top third and then again I'll mix the two colors to create a beautiful shade of purple and that purple I will be putting in the middle third of the nail. Also for this nail I'm going to go in with a second layer. So like I said I went in with the glue right on top of the pigments but if you want to you could seal in the first layer of the pigments with a matte top coat and then go in with a second layer of glue. So what I also want to mention about the Galaxy Twinkle and these colored pigments, these are not the kind of pigments like a chrome or an, a mirror or an aurora pigment that you can rub into a cured no wipe top coat. These do need to go um, onto something sticky or mixed into a gel or a paint. So I'm going in with my second layer of these beautiful pigments. I mean, these are the sparkle pigments. I love the colors. First of all, the colors are so, so pretty. And of course they're sparkle. So you guys know I love my sparkle. And then, um, for both of the nails, uh, because they are sparkle, of course, I had to go with a shiny top coat. So I sealed both of the nails in with a shiny top coat when they were finished. In this nail, you can see a little bit of streakiness from the glue, but once it's top coated, you, it doesn't really show up anymore, so that's a good thing. Also, like I said, this was my first time um, experimenting with these products, so I'm not going to have a perfect application from the first go. Then I'm going to do three nails with these beautiful um, opal mix glitters. So I'm putting the glitters, I'm going to do a full nail of the glitters on top of a white um, background and then on top of a black background as well because I want you guys to see the difference of um, like colors you get on a light and a dark background. By the way, you guys, excuse my raspy voice, but I'm getting over a cold and I'm still a little um, <clears throat> hoarse from it. As you can see, these glitters are chunkier than the super fine ones from the first two nails. So I applied these the way I always apply my glitters into a wet base coat and then cure them in place. After they're cured, I um, brush off the excess glitter with like a, a stiff brush. And then I encapsulated both nails with two layers of a builder in a bottle. I then um, filed and shaped the nails off camera because i mean this wasn't really a filing video i just wanted to show the products to you guys and then i'm going to top coat both i'm going to do half with a matte top coat and half with a shiny top coat so you guys can see the difference between matte and shiny because i feel like iridescent glitters are always um pretty with a matte top coat as well this is a a velvet matte top coat though and I do have to remove the sticky layer which I will do after curing the other half of the nail as well so this is what the black one looks like oh, I love this glitter it is so gorgeous and then I'm top coating the white one with the matte and the shiny top coat
and this is what the white one looks like. So I'm going to do a third nail with this opal mix, but I'm applying the glitter onto a clear nail. So I have already a wet layer of base coat on this nail and then I'm going in with the glitter. Uh, again, I am going to do a full nail of the glitter and cure it in place. Then I will also encapsulate this nail with two layers of a builder in a bottle. I will also file this nail off camera. And then I'm going to create like a rainbow on top of this uh, filed nail, glitter nail. So I'm going to create a rainbow with the sheer sparkle pigments. Um, and I'm going to make my own like jelly paints kind of with these pigments using the clear jelly paint from my products. So I used a little bit of the yellow and the pink pigments and I added like two drops of the clear jelly paints to create my own shade of orange. I did add a little bit more of both colors of pigments to make the color a little more vibrant. So this jelly paint and all their other other paints I will be using more um, later on in the video. They are all air dry as well. I'm using the fine brush that I got with my products to apply um, my um, mixed paints. So for the yellow one, of course, I'm taking some of the yellow pigments, a few drops of the clear jelly uh, paints, and then giving it a mix. Again, applying with my fine brush. Then I'm going to go to a green. So I'm going to um, just add some of the blue pigment to the yellow mix I already had and add another drop of the clear jelly paint and giving it another stir to create a green shade. How cool is this? You have the clear jelly paint, you have the sheer pigments, you have opaque pigments, so you can mix so many different type of paints. I love it. So again, this was my first time using these. Um, even though the paints are air dried, they dry pretty quickly. My mistake with this nail was that I added a little bit too much product when I was doing the colors for the rainbow. By the way, for the blue, I mixed some of my blue pigments with some of the clear jelly paints, um, which, um, what was I saying? Yeah, because I added a little bit too much product, it took a little longer to dry, plus the paint pulled a bit to the, into the sidewalls. So if I were to do this again, I would apply two thinner coats of my uh, mixed paints. For the purple, I uh, added a little bit of pink to the blue mix that I already had, and another drop of the paint, the clear paint, and then gave this a mix. And then for my last color, which will be pink, I'm using the pink pigment with uh, some a few drops of the clear jelly paint. So again, if I were to do it again, I would apply two very thin coats. That way I would have the same like coverage. I mean, these are sheer pigments, so I wanted it to be sheer, especially on top of the opal glitter. I wanted the glitter to still show through. But to get the same coverage, I would have um, done two really thin coats instead of one thicker coat. Not that it was super thick, but you get what I mean. So, for the next nail, I'm covering a clear tip with a layer of matte top coat because I want to paint on this and um, 
I don't know, painting is e easier on a matte top coat, I feel. So I'm going to create roses with the opaque white, uh, I think it's matte opaque white paint. And this technique to create roses is like the easiest technique ever. I, this isn't my, I mean, I didn't come up with this technique. I learned it from other YouTubers. I have to be honest, I cannot remember who I saw doing this first, but I've seen several nail YouTubers create roses like this. So I'm painting three of uh, these kind of roses on the clear tip. Again, this opa uh, matte opaque paint also is air dry. It dried super quickly. I mean, by the time my third rose was finished, the first one was completely dry. Also, because all these um, paints are, or these products are water-based, you can just clean your brushes in a little bit of water. You don't need alcohol or acetone or whatever, just a little bit of water and they clean super easily. Same thing for the palette. So I have one palette that I'm always using. When I'm done with my paints, I just clean off the palette with a wipe and some water and it comes off super easy. So to color in the the petals of the roses, I'm using this, uh, what was it, pink fuchsia, purple fuchsia jelly paint, I don't remember, but you guys just saw me show it. So using this paint, I am coloring in the petals of the roses. I'm getting some of this um, fuchsia jelly paints on my white outlines, but that doesn't matter because after painting like the colors for this nail, I am going to go over the outlines again. For this uh, part, I am using one of my own detailing brushes. It's a really fine brush, which I thought was easier to color in these sections. So this is, like I said, jelly paint, so it's also sheer, which is also why I left the nail clear, because I wanted a trans, like, a, a, yeah, a sheer nail, a sheer effect. Um, when I'm done with this third rose, I am going to um, add some simple leaves uh, next to the roses. So I'm using this opaque olive pearl paint, but I want to make it sheer too, to match the jelly fuchsia. So I'm adding some of the clear jelly paint to this color. And then I'm uh, painting on simple leaf shapes next to the roses. I am going to uh, outline these with the white as well and create some simple veining on these as well. I loved painting with these jelly paints or the opaque paints. I mean, all the paints, they are so nice to work with. I am. I don't really have any um, non-gel paints, so um, I enjoyed working with these so much. Oh, by the way, by this time <laughs> my rainbow nail was dry, so I'm going to top coat this with a shiny top coat, of course, because we have glitter, so it had to be shiny. I think this was my favorite nail of all the nails I did in this, well, for this video. I love the way this turned out. So I am going in with a second coat of the Jelly Fuchsia and the uh, sheer green shade I created for the flowers and the leaves. So like I was saying, I enjoyed working with these paints so much that I'm 
going to have to get like all the colors or most of the colors. <laughs> so I'm showing you how I cleaned it. So I have a little bit of water in one of those. Um, I got one of those empty uh, drop containers. So I filled that one up with water. I put a drop of uh, water on both of my, you know, colors and then I just wipe over it with a clean nail wipe and it was uh, it came off super easy with the water so at this point I'm going in with a with my um, second coat of the outlining I guess um, I wasn't really feeling that well this day and I was I kind of had the shakes so that's why my lines turned out a bit thick but the nail still looked nice in the end, I feel. The, the outlines could have been a little thinner, but hey. So I'm not showing you all of it because I just, you know, went over the same lines from the roses and then did a line around the leaves and then a couple of simple veins in the leaves. and. Uh, I then, when my paint was dry, I'm sorry for being all over the place. So when my paint was dry, I added a layer of matte top coat because I wanted this nail to be matte. And you just saw the finished, uh, finished results. And then for the last nail, I have a nail with a white base again. And I'm going to do some hand painting, but for this, I wanted to draw it first. So I'm, I'm going to do an orange slice. So what you're seeing me do here is drawing my orange slice or well, roughly drawing it. And then the section of the nail uh, that is not covered with the orange slice, I will cover with the pearl olive opaque paint. But this time I didn't, you know, dilute it with clear because this time I wanted it to be actually opaque. I did two coats of this opaque pearl olive color. And then for the orange part, I'm going to mix um, a whole bunch of shades. So I'm mixing my own yellow with the clear jelly paints with the sparkle yellow neon sheer pigment. I have the matte uh, orange paint and then I'm going to mix them like, you know, mixing orange with yellow and orange with white. and. <laughs> yellow with white I think to create different shades of orange and yellow for my orange slice obviously so I wanted to use only she modern pigments in or products from that first she modern haul in this video so that's why I kind of you know tried to create the shades that I wanted with the colors that I had. Didn't want to add any other products, but um, if I had other colors, I would have used like maybe a brown or, or an amber color or a uh, opaque yellow instead of a sheer yellow. So, you know, I just tried to make do with what I had because I wanted to make this a she modern video, but I feel like it did turn out cute even though I didn't really have all the colors that I would normally use. Normally I would have used a black to do some outlining in the end, which I didn't have. I mean, I did do... I did have nails with a black base that were painted with black gel polish, but as far as paints, I didn't have any black, and the gel polish is not from She Modern, but they don't sell gel polish, so... So with uh, one of the lighter orange uh, shades, I'm um, painting what would be like the inside of the peel from the orange and then I'm also going over this with a light yellow shade to make it 
hmm, what should I call this? To make it less like smooth because, you know, in a piece of fruit, your colors aren't smooth either. Then with my matte orange, I'm um, coloring in the like the sections of the orange. I don't know what it's called in English. And I'm also going over these sections with like a jelly orangey yellow. I mixed myself again to create more um, texture. I added paints whenever I needed it. Yeah, with these paints, a little bit goes a long way. So, I mean, you're better to start off with a little bit and um, add some more if you need to than to put a bunch of it on your palette because once it's on there you can't really put it back in the bottle plus it's air dry so it will dry when it's on your palette so right here you just saw me add a drop of water to the light orange shade I mixed because it had become a little dry um, but once it's dried completely you, know, you can't really you know add water to use it again See, again, when a paint gets a little dry, you can add some water to make it a little, well, to make it usable again, but you can't do it when it's completely dried out. So creating some more texture into the sections of the orange. Oh yeah, using diluted, this was the lightest shade I created. And I added water to this one to really dilute it so I to make it more of a wash so the I wanted to create like I don't know what it's called like the veining in the pieces of the orange um, but you, you don't want your color to be really harsh for that again going in with the jellyish orange in between to create the texture um, I had to finish this nail like the day after so I had cleaned my palette so I'm going back in with the paints I need. I'm using the orange uh, shade to create the outside of the peel. Then I'm mixing some of the olive green the opaque olive green into the orange to create a darker shade of orange adding some water to make it more of a wash again going over the outside of the peel with this color again to create some texture Adding a little more of the green. Yeah, I had a little bit too thick of a peel, so I just went in with some more of the the green on its own to correct. I had a blast mixing all of these colors. See, so the, the I used the darkest shade that I mixed to do a little bit of outlining in the center of the sections of the orange and then by the inside of the peel, um, which I normally would have done with a, maybe a brown in this in this case, but you know, like I said, I made it work with the colors that I had.
doing some correction where I need to. Trying to create some more texture into the sections of the orange. By using the different shades on top of each other when they're still wet. So they kind of partially blend together. Every time you see me go off out of shot, I'm taking some water in my brush and then adding it to the paint to make it uh, more of a wash again. So that's stuff you can't really do with the gel paints. So when I was happy with the way it looked, I added an, a layer of matte top coats. Of course, I let it dry first, very important. And then I want to create some like water droplets um, on top. So. And I wanted to give them a little bit of something extra, so I added some of the Galaxy Twinkle in some No Wipe Top Coat. Mixing that together and then using different sizes of dotting tools, I'm creating dome shapes onto the orange slice. Um, I did flash cure each dome shape to make sure it doesn't, you know, fall down to to make sure it doesn't flatten out so that it keeps its structure and when i did well when i was happy with the amount of <laughs> droplets i uh, gave this nail a full cure and i did um, put a shiny top coat onto the um, pearl matte green olive green uh, section of the nail so this was the final nail. So these were all the nails I created with uh, this first She Modern haul. I am really happy with the results. Uh, like I said, I can't wait to do more with it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye bye. Mwah.